Hi, I'm Josh from EDB, and I'll be giving you a quick tour of our Big Animal on-demand free trial. This is a fully managed database product. EDB takes care of the setup, provisioning, and continuous availability. Your 14-day trial lets you quickly get up and running in AWS or Azure, with no setup required beyond a few clicks to create an EDB account. Enough talk. Let's dive in and take a look. Open EnterpriseDB.com, uh, EDB's homepage, and then scroll down to the Big Animal section. Click the Try It For Free button and fill in this form, agree to the terms and conditions, click Submit. Then check your email. You'll quickly get an activation email. Click the link there and you can enter a password. Hit Submit and you'll be in the free trial. Here's a look at the overview page. On the top right, you'll see that you're logged into your account. On the left are tools for managing and monitoring users and clusters. Over here is a uh, demo, uh, a video, and if you scroll down, you'll find some helpful how-tos. At any point during the trial, if you have a question or run into a, a problem, you can click the big blue support button down at the bottom left. If you have questions for our account team or are interested in a longer, more comprehensive 30-day evaluation, you can contact our sales team. Now, to create a cluster, you can click the Create New Cluster button here on the overview page, or you can visit the clusters page Pick a nice descriptive name and make sure to choose a strong password. This will be the admin password for your cluster and it's entirely distinct from the EDB account you created earlier. For database types, you'll have the options of EDB Postgres Advanced Server, which gets you Oracle compatibility, or a standard build of PostgreSQL. For versions, Either one lets you choose the latest and greatest version or a previous supported version if you're so inclined. We're going to go with Postgres and 14. Now you can select a provider. AWS and Azure are both supported, so pick the one you're most familiar with or most interested in evaluating. We'll try one first and then the other. See how they stack up. And because it's a trial, there's only one instance type available, one storage volume type, one set of options for storage size and speed, and only public network connectivity. If you'd like to try more options down the road, you can contact EDB Sales and we'll help you get set up to experience the full version of Big Animal. Now this is entirely optional, but I'm going to click through the DB Configuration tab here just to show you that we're configuring a real Postgres system here. If the need arises, you have access to tune it for your precise workloads or requirements. Or mess around. It's a trial. Why not? There's a high availability tab as well, but this is not available during the trial. Still, you can see what, uh, what it offers and, and, and what it will cost in terms of resources. Okay, click Create Cluster, and you're back at the cluster screen with your newly created cluster now populating the list. It's currently still being provisioned. This might take a minute or two. Once it's fully provisioned, your 14-day free trial officially starts and a countdown will appear here telling you how many days are left in your trial. You can only have one cluster active at a time during the trial, but for those 14 days, you can start Stop, delete, restore, and create new clusters as much as you like, just so long as there's only one active at a time. Of course, in the full version, you can create as many clusters as you need. And this screen provides the ability to search, sort, and filter them by database type, version, or region. Something you do have access to in the trial is the activity log. This will list all the actions you've performed during the trial. Let's check on our cluster. Well, it looks like it's finished provisioning after six minutes. Now I can click through and grab the connection. 
On the overview page, there's a quick connect command. You can drop this into a console to quickly launch psql. Otherwise, flip to the connect tab. For clients and connectors that require discrete parameters, plug in the default DB name and admin username, both EDB admin, and the password you set when creating the cluster. Also the port 5432 and the host name, which is unique to your cluster. Finally, set SSL mode to require or verify full. If you want to configure a new cluster, you can just delete this one. Boom! And there it is, over on the deleted tab. Now I'm, uh, now I'm able to create a new cluster, try a different configuration, different cloud provider, whatever I feel like. If I decide I want to go back to this, if I don't feel like loading the data or creating a schema again, I just flip over to this deleted tab and hit the restore button. This actually creates a new cluster from a backup, so you'll have to give it a password. The rest of the configuration is preserved, however. I'll choose to restore from the latest data available, but I could also do a point in time restore and, and snap back to a, uh, a, a previous uh, representation of the data if, if one had been captured. Okay, scroll down, click restore, and we're back on the clusters tab again with our, uh, with our test cluster provisioning. This, uh, this actually creates a new cluster, and once it's done, you'll be able to continue on with your testing. Just remember to grab the fresh host name from the connect tab. I'll leave you to explore the capabilities that all this provides, but now might be a good time to go back to the overview page and poke around in these helpful how-to docs. So thanks for watching and enjoy your journey using a fully managed Postgres database.